Hello folks, my name is Chetan Kumar and today I am going to teach you how to develop a bump chart. Let's start with today's session. So for developing a bump chart, it's generally a rank chart. So you, ha you rank based on sales or other categories. So I'll just show you how to develop one. So it, if you are, it's ranking over the year or over the quarter or over the month. So you will be requiring a date field. So let me drag the date field over here, make it an entire view. Let me drag sales. So you have a line graph. Now you have to drag region. If you want to check region wise sales. So this is the region wise sales that you can see how it is. Running. But if you want to check not only based on sales, it's based on the rank, just convert the sales and go to quick table calculation and change it to rank now you have to do one more thing you have to go com to compute using and we are computing based on region so click on region so you have a beautiful bump chart over here just track sales and convert it into a circle make a dual axis chart to make it look good and synchronize the axis you can go ahead and reverse it so that you can see the rank from top to bottom. So now you can hide this, hide the header. You can, if you want, you can drag the sales so it's easy to identify what are the numbers and the region. So based on this, it's easy to identify the, it was best had the maximum sales in 2014 but in 2015 East had the maximum sales so this is the way you can analyze the uh, bump chart it tells you based on based on particular measures which is the highest and lowest it ranks accordingly as you can see West was highest in 2014 second second was east then south then central but it completely changed in the in 2015 15 east was the highest then west then central and then south so this is all about the bump chart how to develop the bump chart that's all for today let's catch up on next session